Hey, what's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And guys, you're here with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Get ready to talk about Batman and Robin issue 23.4, Killer Croc number one. Now, when I actually got this book and I saw the 3D cover for the first time in my haul video, I'm like, dude, this book was awesome. I mean, the cover here is so badass. They make Killer Croc look like a crazy ass creature here. Uh, the the 3D cover is just outstanding. I love the way it looks. Uh, it it just shows Killer Croc how much of a badass he is. You got Batman in the background, all chained up there, and you can see his little arms move and little sewer droplets move, and there's little skulls all over the place. So it's a very cool cover to look at. The interior art, however, did let me down here. Uh, if I would have gotten um, Patrick Gleason to write the art, to do the artwork and the pencils in this book, it would have been so much better. Uh, the art was okay here, uh, but I felt like for Killer Croc, uh, he just looked like just like a Frankenstein type of monster. I thought he was big and bulky, which yes, he should be, but he doesn't look as ferocious um, as I want him to be. Here's some. Uh, pictures of some of the characters in the book. Um, I thought the colors weren't quite there. The, the artwork was just off for me. Again, here he is right here. Um, what the character reminds me of, he reminds me of the He-Man and Masters of the Universe bad guy who was like a crocodile or something like that too, I, I, if I remember right. But here he is. And I, I just wasn't like crazy about the art here. Uh, However, what did I think about the story? Um, I think the story was awesome. I think this was a phenomenal story. Again, really got into the character's inner core here, or what he's about and how he became the way he is today. And that's what made this book really so special. And that's what a few of these books did in Velen's Month. Uh, here we get to see the bottom of the sewers in um bottom of Arkham here. We get to see the dirty police going here. And you see that they're on this kind of like search mission type of deal. And it, it pieces it all together as the issue goes along, which is really good. And you go back 26 years ago as you get to see young Killer Croc as a baby Croc. And you get to see his little auntie uh, trying to scrub off the scales off of him, trying to fit in, in in this society of today. But it really hurts him because it's, you're basically scraping off his skin. And uh, as the issue, you, you see his pain, you know, struggling to be this something different. Uh, and no one wants to accept him in, in this world. Uh, but as the issue goes along, you see these police officers kind of get picked off one by one. And uh, you'll learn a little bit of the story each bit as each page goes by. Uh, you get to see Killer Croc here. He was part of this uh, freak show circus thing um, where he wrestled crocodiles. He got a little money. He got being taken advantage of. And from there on out, he kind of, you know, went to the bottom of the sewers. You know, he didn't want society bother him anymore. And, um, you know, he tried his thing at being a petty thief, robbing banks and things like that. And that didn't work. So, again, he went to the bottom of the sewers. So, as the issue progresses, you get to see that there's people going after these cops that live underground sewers and whatnot. And um, you find out that there's, there's a, a, a mystery man in this thing that led them to this, to this point. And the guy is sitting there uh, hanging here. Uh, you see him hanging from the doorway, and um, you know who this guy is. This guy is the name of Hulin, and uh, he's hanging there, and it flashes back to two weeks ago, and you find out that a dirty cop winds up killing uh, Hulin here, and they killed him because he was going to rat out that they were dirty cops and whatnot, and he shoots him and dumps him into the ocean, and you're like, oh, man. So as the... As the story comes to a full circle here, you find out why they wind up going to the bottom of the sewers. And you find out that this was all a setup, that Killer Croc wound up planting this guy here so he can meet them. And uh, he winds up beating him and destroying him and whatever the case may be, uh, which was awesome. But by the end of the issue, you really find out 
who this guy actually really is. And he is a father figure to Killer Croc and told Killer Croc, hey, you can be anything. You can be a king if you want. And he proved that to Killer Croc that he had a life to live, that there was a purpose to him. And this gentleman believed in him. And he was right. Uh, Killer Croc became a king of his world. And uh, he honored him in a burial and uh, or ash burning and whatnot. And there's people that follow him. Uh, so this was a really good story. I really got a lot out of this character. You really feel for his pain here. He, Someone believed in him and he followed that man. And he honored him like a father. And it was a great story. I really liked it. This was one of those issues that stood out this week in the Villains Month. Um, I'm giving this one a 4 out of 5. Uh, not four, four and a half out of five. The only thing that got me here was the artwork. Otherwise, it was a great issue. Uh, if there's a book that you guys can get your hands on this week uh, that I can recommend that's worth reading, it's this one. There's a lot to read here, lots of story. It's great to see how the story starts off back in time. Present day goes a little bit closer to present day. Present day and even closer to present day. So it comes in this full circle, and by the time you're done reading it, you're like, oh, dude, that's awesome. And you can't help feel for the character here. Great, great story. Uh, again, four and a half out of five. So, guys, did you get this one this week? Tell me what you thought of this issue. Was this the best villains book for you this week? Uh, if you want to find out, find out on my countdown video. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.